Hello, this uh, video is about how to clean, repair, maintain, strengthen old frames. I have been given some old frames from someone and they are in an absolute mess. So I'm going to show or go through and clean them up and show you the best way to clean them up. Uh, clean the wires, uh, re strengthen the frames so that you can either wire them or rubber band them or use fishing wire or whatever and ready for them. Alright, all I need at the moment is a smallish screwdriver, one that will fit inside the grooves of the of the frame, a smallish knife, it's not a very big knife, a scraper. The reason I use a scraper and not the knife is because the scraper has a bit of weight behind it. It's You'll find it easier to scrape the wax off with a thick scraper than with a knife. And a pair of pliers. You can use any sort of pliers, pointy nose pliers or whatever. And the pliers are just so you can clean the wire. All you do is you put the very end of it on. You'll find that there's grooves inside the inside the plier heads and slide them across and that's the best way to clean the wires. I will now proceed to clean up this frame which is I've started but I've, as you see there's a fair bit of old bits of crap. Once I get it clean I'll show you how to um, retension the wires if they're good enough and then how to strengthen the frame. Alright, as you can see, I've cleaned some of the rubbish off. I'll just get rid of that out of the way so it doesn't go all over the place. Otherwise, the boss will kill me. She's going to kill me anyway. But Now, I've cleaned the major bits of the crap off. Once I said get the, these across here, really simple to do. Just once or twice across. That cleans up the, the wires. You will see that the wires are extremely loose at the moment. We'll put a bit of tension in those afterwards when the flames all crap when the frame is all clean. Now I find I'm about to get the wax out of the, the groove here. I find the best way to do it is to get your knife, run your knife through on an angle all the way. It takes the angled part out of it and do it, turn it around. Do it again. Now that's got a majority of the wax out of it. Now comes your little screwdriver. Now you just work your little screwdriver. Jiggle it through and it all comes out fairly easily. Now that took all of 40 seconds to clean that that groove out there so we're up pretty well. This, as you can see this is a fairly old frame. Just rid of the, rid of the rubbish there. And it's ready to start to repair. Most of the wax is off, it's fairly clean now. I'd be happy with that, or I'm not happy with that. Okay, now I'm up to tensioning the, the wires. As you can see, they're fairly loose. So, first thing you have to do is figure out how the person mounted it. On this frame here, there's a nail there I would have assumed it would have been wrapped around that but it's not he's got it wrapped around a nail there but it's no it's in, in too far this one here the wire is actually wrapped around that nail there and then driven home so what we're going to do is we're going to start to tighten from the top on this one if this was the one we had easy access to you would start tightening from the other end so the best way to tighten this is just to get that wire and pull it slowly towards you. Now in the process of pulling it towards you, you might have to jiggle this bit up here where the wire feeds through the frame and just tighten the other frame. That's good enough. Now then I'll work on the next frame. Holding that bit there, pull the other one tight. And do the same for the next one. Holding that end there to stop it from slipping back. Pull this one tight. Go 
back to this end holding that bit there to stop it from slipping back in now since I that one's really loose I've got to pull that up through there and um, look I, I could do it myself and um, pull that nail out a bit and then pull that tight and then wrap it around but there's another way you can do it as well so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold this bit here the bottom bit of it so that these three are still taut I'm going to get the other bit and I'm going to this the, the this tight bit and that's the loose bit I'm just going to put the, the thing in there like this this is the, the cheats way to do it just put a little bit of tension on it hold them both and if you're lucky you can crimp them together and put a twist in them all you need is a twist don't twist too much because you'll break the wire only a very small twist All right. Now there I have a, a refurbished frame. Now I've got to strengthen the frame. Alright, now we're up to strengthening the frame. This frame here has been pinned in these positions there, so that'll stop it from falling out. It's fairly good. This frame was constructed fairly well. Some of the other frames are pretty crap. What we need to do is, all we need is a drill with a very fine drill bit. This is a two mil drill bit. Some wire, which I have a whole wire here, which I've had for about 40 years and I still haven't run out. A plastic drink bottle. The drink bottle is to make the... First of all, I cut the drink bottle into a strip. The strip is going to go here and here like this. So I only need about an inch worth, two centimeters, an inch, whatever. And that's going to go there, and I need two of these for this frame. So I'll just cut that. Once they're cut, put a bend in it. So that it, looks, so that it can come like that. I do is get my drill bit, my drill, and drill a hole right through there from this side. So I'm going to do it on both edges. Then I'm going to get enough wire to make it run from there, around there, around there, and back through there. So have some offcuts because I have to fasten it to the frame. First off, I'm going to run one piece up through here. Wrap it around. Put it back up through the hole again. Pull it through, pull it through nice and tight, do it that side, repeat it, and pull it nice and tight. Now if you want you can just wrap it through wrap it through there. If you want just give it one or two twists or something like that. Something to secure it, but it's not going to come out anyway. Just trim it off. Put it down. 
if you want, you could always also do it the way they tack these. You put a tack in here and wrap it around, but I'm not going to. Put it like that. Get my little brace, my little thing. So there, that's just there to stop it from going through the wood. The reason I use a drink bottle, a PVT drink bottle, I think they are, the soft drink bottles, is because the, the plastic is tougher. If you use a milk carton, the, you'll find the plastic is fairly soft and it will tend to go through it, or easier to go through it. Now I'm going to put that one up through there, feed that through there, put my little supports on, get this, get that, the pliers, put some tension on it. This is fairly good wire, so it's not going to break on me in a hurry. So it's nice and tight. Do exactly the same as the other one. Wrap it around, feed it back up through the hole. Pull it through. Now this is where we've got to get some more tension if we can. Get tension is pulled up there. Remember, hold this bit. Same same deal as the other one, as when I was wiring the frame. Pull it through here. I can feel. Nice and tight. Hold it up there. Get that bit. Pull it again. It's taking all the slack out. Do the last loop. Pull it tight. Okay, you can tie it. You can tie it off if you want, any way you want. But I'm quite happy. With, I might tie it through there, but I'm happy with that. That now, no matter how much you pull on the tops of these frames with your hive tool, it won't pull the top of the frame without getting the frame and breaking the frame. Thank you. I hope you've enjoyed it, and thank you for watching.